Addicted, and you'll have to excuse yourself like every five minutes from parties to go eat. It's even worse than that. Your teeth become like this really horrible yellow, so your agents are like, go get your teeth whitened and you do, but what you don't know is that the procedure hurts like hell, so it's stuck. The unthinkable has happened. I could never quit the habit. So now my daughter is a smoker too. <gasps> Please, we already ruined our life. That's not really in hers. Don't start smoking. You don't want to make yourself go back in time. Witnessing here is the return of Titans. How many of these things are there? Seventeen. I'm counting. That's messed up. <laughs> creature that might stand a chance against him. Join the fight. What does America mean to you? Your removal is final. There's nothing you can do. I'm sorry. But this is my home. New York is my home. 13.8 billion years ago, the Big Bang created the stars, the planets, the galaxies. Compared to the lifespan of the universe, our lives begin and end in a single day. I'm Daniel. I'm Natasha. We are the story man. What's up there in your box? Skulls. Poems. What are they about? Wait, let me guess. The love. Not all of them. I don't believe in love. So no magic, no fate, no meant to be. What if I told you I could get you to fall in love with me? Just give me a day. An hour. One of your key ingredients to fall in love. My ingredients are friendship, chemistry, the X Factor. What's the X Factor? Don't worry, we've got it. You and I, this isn't gonna make me change my mind, Mr. Plaid Thai. Did you just call me Pad Thai? Plaid Thai! My family is from Korea, not Thailand. Well, that is not what I said, so you can stop waiting for an apology. Oh, I'm waiting for something, but not for an apology.
but I think I could love her. What are you so afraid of? Listen, I wasn't born here. What? My family is leaving tomorrow. This is real, and I know you feel it too. The choice we made. The path we choose. We don't have forever. So there I was. I woke up with a heavy case of amnesia in the middle of nowhere. The only clue to my past is Harry's name and address inside this hat. So I made my way to the apartment, and that's when I found you and your stapler gun. Stop talking! You're a hallucination! You're a hallucination. So you're a talking Pikachu with no memories who's addicted to caffeine. I can stop whenever I want. These are just choices. Another round, extra shot. Black is night. Thank you, sweetie. I don't know. Maybe Harry got in too deep. Mixed up the wrong crowd, that kind of thing. Look, you can talk to humans. I can talk to Pokemon. And if you want to find your pops, we're going to need each other. No, I don't need a Pokemon. What about a world-class detective? Ah, my clues. What is all this? Harry is still alive. Case closed. But still open until I solve it. All right. Here it is. Harry faked his own death. Or somebody else faked Harry's death. Or Harry faked somebody else's death. That last one doesn't work at no. all. Should have worn a helmet. Once everything was awesome. Now everything is bleak. Hey Lucy, I brought you coffee. Coffee. The bitter liquid that provides the only semblance of pleasure left in these dark times. Oh my gosh, miss. Did I interrupt you brooding just now? Times have changed. You need to change with them. We have to be tough and battle ready. Look, a shooting star! Make a wish! <sighs> oh no. Save 
save your life? Not at all. Who are you? The name's Rex Danger Vest. Galaxy Defending Archaeologist, Cowboy, and Raptor Trainer. <laughs> I don't get it. Will you help me rescue my friends? You don't want to go anywhere near the Sistar system. It's ruled by an alien queen. Only the toughest are going to get out of there alive. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Oh, yes, you are. I'm a queen whenever I would not be. I'm getting super evil vibes here. I could change my form to something else if this makes you more comfortable. Hey, guys. Don't go back. The horse was much more palatable. I got a ball in the place. I got to get a baby. No, it did not. Hey, one. Hit him with the A1 song. Since they won't let the A1 song. Did you draw a stubble box on your face? What? No. <laughs> Who are you? I'm your worst nightmare. You are me when I'm late to school and I forgot my homework and my pants are made of pudding? No, I don't. Since moving to this nowhere town, I'm still waiting for an ounce of excitement. Nancy Drew! Check it out. The creepy Twin Elms house has gone viral. Finally, things are about to get a little more interesting. The legend dates back to 1885, when the Colfax brothers, who built Twin Elms, had a falling out over a woman. Legend has it, you can hear them crying in the walls. Sometimes it's weird sounds. The lights start flickering. Things just stop making sense. <gasps> you think I'm crazy, huh? Smidge. There's gotta be an explanation. So what do we know? One, we know a black Mercedes was lurking around Twin Elms. Two, we know somebody came in here and scared us half to death. And three, we know it felt insanely real. Mean girls first. The way your brain works is so cool. <laughs> Hello, my name's Nancy Drew. I told you this was gonna be awesome. She is. I wish I were half as brave as you. You're as persuasive as your dad and as righteous as your mom was. Is this safe to carry? Yeah. Just don't drop it. Okay. Just don't. It's not funny. <laughs> You committed several felonies. Hey, they're only felonies if you're 18. Delivering justice, it's my duty. This town is so much more fun with you in it. So, how do we get in? Well, I figured you know how to pick a lock. Oh, now I'm public enemy number one? No, I just thought that... Seriously, Nance, you gonna pick the lock or what? Oh, yeah, totally. Can you drive? Technically. You skate a lot better than your drive. 